all hell the saw and oh run out oh, no, um Okay, so that's one side, and then what we want to do is go and make some glass, and we'll fill in the middle, and I want to try something behind this, just to see what it looks like, um, because quite frankly... In case anyone's wondering why I got that achievement, I actually shot um, the uh, the fireball and sent it back to her that way. Oh, bye, Loki. See you later. Enjoy your day, and I can see now why you're asking if anyone wanted to work for you. Because you didn't want to go. I can understand that. All right. Okay, alright, let's go and make some of this glass. Let's go and try to remember which uh, furnaces it was I put the glass in. Oh, okay, right. Excellent. Thank you very much. One of the harder to get achievements. One thing I dislike about this game is if you do achievements in the wrong order. Where on earth is my cyan die? My light blue die? Uh, did I put it in the other chest perhaps? I did indeed put it in the other chest. Grab all this. Okay. okay. Make up a bit of this. What I'm going to want is pain, so we might as well just convert the whole lot over it right away. Well, at least we could if we had space. Right up in a sec. Some of this nine eggs. I'm telling you, they are lean, mean laying machines, those guys. It's incredible. Right, okay, let's put some uh, window panes up, and then I just want to see what we can put behind them. Can I turn down the in game sound? Sure, is it is that getting that annoying? Uh, option. Music and sounds. In fact, to tell you what, I'll leave that up a little bit so I can hear things, but I'll turn hostile creatures down. There we go. Yeah, um, i got to be honest with you, I find uh, too much time in the nether a bit disconcerting as well, so I do understand where you're coming from there. Right, let's get some glass in here. Come on. Oh, this is so much fun to do. I'm sure it's amazing to watch as well. Down and out a little bit. We got that's quick clearer, and I left a couple of extra bricks here. Get this in. Of course, it looks absolutely horrible because we're building it against the wall, so the glass is folding against the wall as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow it through, and I'm just going to tunnel, tunnel through the other side of this.
go. That, that. Well, the colours look great, and it just adds a glow to the area, which is uh, fantastic. The blue goes very well with the red, I think. But we can't have this, so let's get rid of this. I'm thinking... What I want to do is I want to put... Um, a bit of colour behind here, and the obvious colour, of course, is red. Let's do a bit of that. Yeah, I must admit, I don't particularly like the way the glass forms into blocks. I mean, I can see why they do it to an extent, but it doesn't look pretty, does it? Okay, let's find some lava. just want to see what it looks like behind this blue bar. The obvious place where I'm going to find lava is down there. I don't think I particularly want to do that straight away, so go over here. Uh, we should be able to get up to the surface. Go run across and look for a lava lake on the surface. Up to you bounce up the stairs. That was no help because it's coming down from the ceiling there. Oh, I wonder if I can get that. Empty that bucket quickly. Go up a little bit. Oh yeah. There we go. Bucket of lava number one. Um shouldn't it be the floor that's lava, not the wall? I'm not entirely certain what you mean there. Right, head back. And at great risk to my personal safety, health, sanity. See what that looks like. Ah, that's not bad. Doesn't have to be all of it, just put bucket every eight to ten squares just to illuminate and provide a pattern, provide some colour. I like that, I think. Oh right, okay. I'm sorry, little girl. It was oh, such a very long time ago. Yeah, I like that. What do you guys think? Yeah. Right. You guys are still in awe of my brilliance. Let's just chisel this a little bit further out and we'll get see the other side quickly. I like seeing a little bit, Melody Flower. All my best to the dog.
Something that's, uh, I've just been thinking about this, something that's been very annoying about the uh, the upgrade in 1.8 to uh, Minecraft is the way that monsters spawn. If you look at this square here, okay, where this, this redstone torch is, okay, there's no bounding box, so you can walk in there, there's no problems there. And in 1.7 and earlier, monsters wouldn't spawn here. They would spawn here, or around here. Or because there's an air brick nearby, they could spawn here. But if you made a load of, um, you made a load of them, or you put down uh, um, some slabs either side and that, so there's there's no obvious air bricks uh, nearby that it could be spawned on. Nothing would spawn. But in 1.8, a mob will spawn here now. So this, of course, has made a lot of um, illumination strategies and things like that totally worthless because the philosophy behind them is no longer the same. It's a little bit crappy on the bar, but uh, I don't want. it's going to make for some interesting work, I think. I mean, we in we in this place thought we had at least the center of the spawn village pretty well illuminated, but it turns out we didn't. And I'm constantly getting creepers in my front garden now, which is annoying. Alright, I personally am... oh. I personally am getting a little bit bored of doing this now, so I think I want to go and do something else. Uh, what I was wondering, if you guys had anything quick and simple that you'd like me to build. Break dancing pigman! Yes! <laughs> yes, play that funky music, pigman. <laughs> Build a castle, quick and simple. Okay, well, I've got a lot of sand. Certainly loving it, absolutely. Uh, I'd love to hear the music in his head because it must be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Today, only half of my face fell off. Yay, happy day. <laughs> yeah, very nice Mandarin Moon. <laughs> hey, come on. What's oh, gonna run out first? Uh, pig, pig, <laughs> pig in pig man. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, there we go. Right, that's got that lot out of the way. Let's get some more of this up. Just finish this off quickly. What I could do um, is do a very, very simple redstone tutorial quickly on a, a very simple device. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is something like the simple waste disposal I did for Hell Kitty recently. So you can um, just show you that. It's a tiny little bit of redstone circuitry and it's very easy for anyone to make and it's a good introduction on how to use circuitry. So would you guys like to see that? Glass. 
a lot of this quickly. I cannot believe it is 9.30. This, this live stream has really, really, really um, gone past so incredibly quickly. I've had loads of fun talking to you guys and playing Minecraft and mucking around. So thank you very much for coming along and uh, um, playing along with me because it's really much appreciated. Right, okay, so I'll do that. I'm going to... I'm going to need another pickaxe. Finish this tiny bit off. Actually, there's a little bit more because I need to do the floor very quickly as well. Just, just finish this the whole thing off. Just this little section, and then everyone can see what it's going to look like. Uh, well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that's a good thing. Time flies by. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying it because it's, it's loads of fun. Talking to you guys while I'm playing, getting your feedback, getting your advice, being told that I'm old. Yeah, and that's loads of fun. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I was thinking. Mandarin Moons just said in the chat that uh, running past the lava, it looks like there's a load of gold in the walls, and that's really the sort of colour I wanted. Yeah, that sort of rich colour, but I don't want to completely get rid of the red, so if we have a mixture of the colours, and in fact, let's go and get another bucket of lava and chuck it to the other side as well. This is the nether. It is, <coughs> sorry, nether hard to find the stuff. And I apologise for that. Uh... <laughs> uh... In, uh, oh no! Uh. Well, you know what they say. You're only as old as the person you feel. Come on. How is it hard to find lava in this place? Come on, where is it? Oh, I want to spend some time and, eat and uh, grab all of this glowstone as well. Oh, Simon. I'm probably going to regret this. Oh, shizzy. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I just want to have a quick run around and see if I can find some on the surface. Because I'm fairly certain I saw some recently. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Putting some, uh, setting fire some netherrack behind there. That wouldn't, that wouldn't hurt either. Lava down here. Uh, skeleton shooting at me. I think I'm going to leave him to it. It's ironic. Normally you can't move for the stuff, but I can't seem to find the lava I want right now. Oh, there's a bit of ceiling over there. I'm going to get that. I'm sorry if I'm yawning a little bit. Um... Basically, I was up till half past two this morning um, recording a live stream let's play with uh, Sims 3 Symbiote and I was I was tired when I started. <laughs> uh, probably a good thing I didn't go to work today. Uh, um, 
Yeah, the fire, I think, is probably going to stop things spawning by providing illumination more than anything else.